Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a simple cauldron. Hope you like it. Start by scrunching tin foil into a bowl and you can press it onto your work surface so that it has a flat bottom. Next you want to take a thick sheet of clay. I'm using a metallic bronze shade but you can use any other colour you want and cover the tin foil. Remove the excess clay. Trim the rim of the pot so that it is a bit neater. Next I added a strip of clay around the pot and added detail with a needle. I also marked a few lines to add more character to the pot. I also added texture with a toothbrush to make it look older. Mark where you want to add the feet, place them and blend them. For extra strength you can add liquid clay around the feet. Then bake for 10 minutes. Remove the tin foil extra carefully, spread liquid clay around the rim and fold a strip of clay over it. Then blend the edges. Don't forget to add texture to that as well. Next take two jump rings and slide a strip of clay through them, fold it and attach them to the sides of the cauldron to make the handles. To make a lid, cut out a circle that fits, add some texture and add a tiny ball of clay in the centre. For the potion brewing inside the cauldron I used scrap clay which I bonded with liquid clay to the pot and on top of that I added silver mica powders mixed with liquid clay to which I added a mix of purple mica powders and swirled it around. To make the handle of the cauldron I took some wire and bent it around my rolling pin then put the wire through the handles of the cauldron and closed the loops. Bake all for 10 minutes, including the lid. Once the lid has cooled, add a smaller disc of clay to the back, if you like, and bond it with liquid clay. Then bake again for 10 minutes. Once everything has cooled down, you can begin painting the cauldron with black acrylic paint. I first painted it all black and blotted the excess with a tissue. I left the bottom and feet completely black, as it's the area more frequently exposed to fire.
I also painted the wire and handles. Then glaze and you're done. I really hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you all next time.